The Death Card, one of the most dreaded cards in tarot. Scorpio, in tarot, yes, your ruling card, because every zodiac sign has a ruling card in the tarot deck, and your card is the Death Card. Fortunately, for some reason, you can't see it. There you go, the Death Card, number 13. And I don't know if you've ever gotten a tarot reading, a tarot psychic reading, Scorpio, but you can contact me at lamartownsendtarot.com for your own personal private confidential psychic tarot video reading or your own private confidential birth chart reading. Simply just visit my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. You can purchase your reading directly from my website and purchase your own reading, okay? So I would love to do a reading for you, Scorpio. With that being said, also, please follow me on Instagram at Lamar Townsend, like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend official, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video if you enjoy it. Of course, all the links to my social media and website will be in the description box below. Okay, so Scorpio, the death card. Well, the wonderful thing about the death card actually is that it's not all bad. The death card isn't always a bad thing. The death card actually represents rebirth and regeneration because death isn't actually an ending. It's a transformation of energy. It's a rebirth. It's a new beginning in a way for all parties involved, right? And in a lot of ways that relates to Scorpio and the Scorpio energy, right? Because Scorpios um, are constantly reinventing themselves, constantly, you know, experiencing rebirths, you know, in, in, their, in their evolution as, as, you know, human beings and individuals, right? So this is exactly why you're ruled by, you know, the death card in tarot. Also, Pluto, your ruling planet, or one of your ruling planets, because, you know, you're ruled by both Pluto and Mars, I believe. And let me double check that for accuracy. <laughs> yes, um, this is YouTube, so I have the free right to check my own accuracy in the middle, middle of my own video, Scorpio. <clears throat> you, yes, you are ruled by both Mars and Pluto. Pluto is... Okay, so first of all, Mars is all about, you know, animalistic instinct, desire, action, you know, sexual desire. So that's kind of where you get your sexual energy from, right? And then Pluto is, you know, the kind of dark, mysterious planet that's about, that rules, you know, death and rebirth and regeneration. So kind of makes sense, right? You know, with Pluto and Scorpio and the death card. Another wonderful thing about Scorpios is that they kind of understand the cycle of life. Um, and I think, you know, Scorpios are very intuitive. They're a very intuitive zodiac sign. So I find that, you know, intuitively they know that death isn't always the end. Sometimes death is just the beginning. Right? And I think, and me saying that, I think you are maybe the only sign, one of the only signs that understands where I'm coming from when I say that. My Venus is in Scorpio. I don't have prominent, like I'm not a Scorpio, I'm a Capricorn sun, Venus, Venus in Scorpio, Virgo rising, Libra moon. I'm a lot of earth and air and fire. Um, but I do have prominent Scorpio in my chart. So I totally understand the Scorpio energy, the Scorpio vibe, you know, where Scorpios come from. Um, and I totally understand why Scorpios are ruled by the Death Card and Tarot. This is not a bad thing. It actually tells me that Scorpios are very strong. Scorpios are very strong people to be able to go through an ending, something, you know, so heartbreaking, something so traumatic, but still be able to rise like the Phoenix out of it, to rise out of the ashes and make something of yourself once again, you know, to do it over and over and over again, you know is amazing right so there's something to be said for being ruled by this card in tarot whenever i see this card come up in tarot um when i whenever i first got into tarot i used to be afraid whenever it would like show up in tarot i used to be like oh my gosh the death card oh 
But now I'm like, okay, you know, when I see it, I'm like, this is actually a beautiful, beautiful card, a beautiful moment. This is a moment of, you know, transformation and growth and evolution, you know, and, and learning, gaining wisdom, insight, you know, honing more on your intuition, listening more to your intuition. Um, you know, the death card to me also represents, you know, self-resilience, self, self be, becoming self-reliant more self-reliant trusting more in yourself you know because a lot of times we can be very kind of codependent we can be in codependent relationships friendships you know uh situationships and not even really know it so it's not until you know a death card kind of moment happens you know a big major ending not literally like you know someone passing away but just like an ending to a situation you know energy being transformed once again not being omitted energy can't be omitted it can only be transformed right so i think that's what the death card is all about so it's not a scary thing people um at all by any means and this card is represented in many different ways in many different decks all right um you know so i think it's about you know learning that everything eventually must be transformed everything eventually must change you know um, everything can't stay the same, everyone can't stay the same, you know, forever, right? And I think it's about learning that, and it's about learning how to adapt to those changes in people and situations. And maybe even when those situations, you know, leave, you know, um, and force us to... fend on our own maybe but finding the strength to do so you know and being transformed and evolved and growing through the process of picking yourself back up you know it's, it's a, such a powerful card and you know what Scorpios are such a powerful zodiac sign you know they're not one of the most powerful you know um respected, revered, feared, even, um, intimidated, intimidating zodiac signs in the zodiac for no reason. I mean, these people are strong people, resilient people, um, who have very transforming, you know, capabilities and qualities, you know, you know, so not only can they transform themselves and, you know, kind of heal themselves, they can heal other people, even, you know, through their relationships with other people, through, you know, just, just their essence, their presence, you know, just by being who, exactly who they are, you know, so this is a wonderful card, it's not a bad card, you guys, at all, by any means, so don't be afraid, whenever you see this card pop up in a reading, if anything, it means, you know, something needs to be transformed it could also mean that the scorpio is around you <laughs> or you know what so have you but you know transforming energy um renewing energy rebirth um a change in direction you know a needed change in direction though so you know always stay positive you know and don't take, you know, tarot so literally. Don't take the tarot card so literally, the symbolism. Um, if anything, you definitely need to find an intuitive tarot reader, okay, to read for you. Because that's the best way to read the cards, is intuitively. One of the ways to tell if a Scorpio man or woman truly loves you and values you is if the Scorpio man or woman does things for you without you needing to ask. That shows that the Scorpio man or woman is thinking ahead and knows what you like and knows what will make you happy um, <clears throat> without you needing to think at all, you know? 
the Scorpio man or woman is putting you first when they do things like that. So that's one of the ways to tell if a Scorpio man or woman loves you or values you. I am Lamar Townsend. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please check out my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. Once again, that's LamarTownsendTarot.com. Like me on Facebook, Facebook.com slash LamarTownsendOfficial. Follow me on Instagram, at Lamar Townsend. Uh, also follow me on my Google Plus. Check out my SoundCloud. Follow me on oh, follow me on SoundCloud. Check out my Bandcamp, and also contact me for your own personal reading at lamar.townsend@gmail.com. You can also contact me for your own personal reading at lamar.townsendtarot.com. All readings that I do are confidential, strictly confidential, private readings. I do video readings. Uh, they are not free. They are one dollar per minute. I charge one dollar per minute, and um, any information that comes up during the reading or that is shared during the reading between you and I stays strictly between you and I and the only person that gets the link to your video is you and I okay the only person I'd send the link to is you all right um, and then you have free reign to do with it as you please um, so long as it's for the good <laughs> um, so, Scorpio, 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 the complex creatures that are Scorpios. Well, I do have to say that I am a Scorpio, I, my Venus is in Scorpio, um, and I think I also have Pluto conjunct Scorpio, so I have strong Scorpio energy in my chart. Um, so I connect, I'm also a Capricorn sign, so I connect with Scorpios on an interesting level. Um, I find Scorpios um, connect well with Capricorns in general, and that's because they understand Capricorns on a level that um, the other signs just don't. You know, they just don't. And I've done a ton of videos on uh, that. I actually did a video on why Capricorns and Scorpios get along so well. So that will probably be linked at the end of this video or maybe on the side, like, or somewhere. Um, anyways, why would a Scorpio man or woman cut you off? Well, there would be a few reasons why a Scorpio man or woman would cut you off. Scorpio men and women are very secretive. They like their secrets. They don't like to reveal themselves. They don't like to reveal too much of themselves too early too early they don't like to reveal too much of themselves period so you might know a Scorpio for several years and not not know a certain something about them or you may not even know several things about them you know because they just have not chosen to tell you those things for whatever reason um, so one of the reasons a Scorpio would cut you off is because you you know um, start wanting to know their secrets a little bit, you know, too, too much. You start wanting to, um, overstep that, that, that boundary, that invisible boundary that the Scorpio has put up, and, um, the Scorpio puts up an invis invisible boundary with every person and every relationship that they have in their life, um, and, you know, the, the thickness or the thinness of that boundary, that veil that they put up, that invisible veil that they put up that you just cannot cross, depends on the relationship that they have with you. So, obviously, if you are close with the Scorpio, that veil is going to be very thin. Um, uh, if Say, if you're like a brother, sister, mother, father, you know, like a family member, usually Scorpios are very, like, the closest with their family members, like, the people they grew up with, like, so, like, cousins, like, and, 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 and brothers and sisters, people that they've grown up with from childhood, like, to adulthood, so, those are the people that you'll find that the Scorpios have the thinnest veils with. You know, that the, the thinnest invisible veils with, where it's like those type of people can, they can kind of flow in and out of the veil as they please, okay? But that's because they, they have a bond with the Scorpio that just simply cannot be broken, okay? Um, now, if that veil is thick, <laughs> you're like you're just, just getting to know the Scorpio, 
or you know say you've been friends with Scorpio for you know a year or two like the, the veil is probably still gonna be a little thick um, so the issue comes when you start wanting to break that veil down the issue comes when you start wanting to peer past the veil peer maybe try and peer through the veil drill a hole into the veil you know and like you know try and peek through you know just to see straight through the Scorpio you know that that's when the Scorpio is like hey you know you're 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 getting too close you're becoming too much you know I'm gonna have to cut you off and that's when the Scorpio you know they'll be hard to reach they won't answer their phone their text messages their Facebook messages they'll leave you on read or ignore you know They won't tell you why they're doing it, you know. It's that Scorpio sting, you know. Well, that's what Scorpios do when they're angry, is that they, the Scorpios do this amazing thing where they um, emotionally cut people off when, when they're angry. Um, and it hurts people, and they know it. Um, uh, I, I tend to do the same thing. Um, and I know it hurts people, but you know what? In, in the same way that it hurts people, it hurts me as well. And so, it, in the same way that it hurts a Scorpio to cut you off, to, to, um, and not, this doesn't go necessarily for everyone. Like, there are just some people, like, where it's like, as much as I, I like you, as much as I love you, as much as I would like to get to know you more, as much as I value the relationship, the friendship that we have. I have to cut you off because you did this thing you crossed this boundary with me that just cannot be I can't act like you didn't do anything that offended me or, or was wrong so I'm gonna have to distance myself from you I'm gonna have to emotionally cut you off you know for a little while or for good you know what I'm saying we'll just have to see what it is we'll see we'll have to see how I feel you know what I'm saying that's you know um That's how Scorpio is, you know. They're just gonna emotionally cut you off. Um, and for some people that they cut off, it hurts. It's hurt. It hurts the Scorpio to cut some people off. Okay, the Scorpio is not like the Capricorn, you know. And um, I love my Capricorn people. Okay, but the Scorpio is not like the Capricorn, where the Capricorn will cut someone off, and the Capricorn will have no emotions about it. The Capricorn won't care. You know what I'm saying? The Capricorn is the type of person that'll, you've been friends with, you know, with Capricorn for <laughs> 10 years and, you know, all of a sudden you do something and the Capricorn cuts you off and just stops talking to you, you know, forever. And you never know why. You know? You know, and the Capricorn, you know, seems to like, like have no emotion about it at all. You know, it's like, yeah, I cut her off. Yeah, I cut him off. And I kept it moving as soon as I cut them off. Like, I don't know why you're bringing this up. Like, Capricorn, that's what a Capricorn's like, you know. But a Scorpio, you know, is like, yeah, I cut him or her off. You know, yeah, it hurt, you know. I didn't want to, but I had to because they did this thing to me. They crossed this boundary. They betrayed me. They broke my trust. Um, and I had to teach them a lesson. I had to cut them off. I had to show them, you know, how valuable my, my love, my, my energy, my um, attention is, to, you know, and, and how quickly it can be taken away when it's not valued, you know. That's a Scorpio, you know. A Scorpio needs to be valued. So, um, another reason why a Scorpio would cut you off is because he or she doesn't feel valued, you know what I'm saying? It, um, I said in the beginning of the video that, you know, one of the ways to know that Scorpios are very subtle, you know, um, they aren't gonna be like Leo, or, for in, for example, or maybe even Pisces, where it's like, they're, like, showy, and like, you know, like, you know, it's like, um, I'm, I'm, I don't know, like, I'm doing this thing for you, and, you know, it's, I want you to be happy, and I want you to notice, notice that I'm doing this thing for you, be happy, like, like, that's Leo and Pisces, Scorpio is more so, like, really subtle, like, you know, I'm thinking ahead, like, knowing that, you know, you 
tend to forget your notebook in the morning. So putting your notebook in your book bag so you don't forget it or putting your notebook in your purse the night before or before you leave, before you grab your purse so you you know you don't forget it. And then when you get to work, you know, you're like frantically like, Oh my gosh, where's my notebook? I don't where where's my notebook? You check your book bag, you check your purse. Oh, thank gosh, you know what I'm saying? That's a Scorpio, you know. Um However, if you take things like that for granted, though, like, that should be a moment where it's like, you know, you text the Scorpio and, you know, it's like, you know, something sweet, thanks for putting, you know, or don't even say thanks, you know, just be like, was it you that put, did you put that, you know, notebook in my, did you put that notebook in my book bag, you know, because, you know, I would forget, you know, yep, that was me, you know thank you so much and then send a you know happy face with like a a wink or like a kissy emoji or like a heart or something like flirt like that's your chance to really connect with the scorpio on that level you know what i'm saying and be really appreciative of the little subtle things they do you know you have to be appreciative of the scorpio and the things that they do for you you know because if you're not appreciative they're gonna cut you off you know they're gonna cut you off all right um, another reason why a Scorpio would cut you off, you betrayed them, you, you betrayed them, you broke their trust, you, you were talking to, you were, you know, conversating with, coordinating with people that the Scorpio man or woman, um, is known to not, you know, be the best of friends with, you know, not to be on the best of terms with, so it's like you're talking to the enemy, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're in cohorts with the enemy, you know, and, and the Scorpio, like, the Scorpio's not going to be able to trust you if you're talking to people that the Scorpio man or woman, you know, don't vibe with. The Scorpio is not going to trust you if you're known to steal p stuff from people's houses. The Scorpio is not going to trust you if you went behind his or her back and slept with their ex the scorpio is not going to trust you if you flirt with their you know boyfriend or girlfriend the like you know what i'm saying the scorpio is not going to trust you if you talk about them behind their back and where it gets to them through someone else you know like the scorpio is not going to trust you if, it, if you betray them or break their trust in some way you know what i'm saying the scorpio is not going to trust you scorpio is really not going to trust you if they tell you a secret and you tell someone else and that that could be the Scorpio secret that they're telling you, or it could be someone else's secret that the Scorpio is telling you. Because remember, the, the Scorpio is the harbor of secrets, so they know a lot. You know, we know a lot. Okay. Um. So know that if a Scorpio, and but remember, we don't open up immediately. We don't show that's immediately show that side of ourselves to you we're not going to immediately show us that side of ourselves to you we're not going to immediately spill our secrets to you you know what we're going to do though and i'm a venus and scorpio pluto conjunct scorpio <laughs> um but i have super like scorpio energy in my chart <clears throat> So I know that the, if the, like this is the energy I'm feeling, like this is like super strong with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, you know. Um, Scorpio is the type of person that um, dang it, I forgot what I was gonna say. Scorpio is the type of person. <sighs> Scorpio is the type of person, I don't remember what I was going to say, so, Scorpio is the type of person that, you know what we're going to do when we first meet you, we're going to let you spill your secrets to us, you're going to spill your secrets to us, guaranteed, you're going to spill your secrets to us, or you're going to spill the people you love, or the people around you secrets to us, or the people you know. See, or, or the people you know that we know secrets to us. Like, you're just going to spill secrets to us, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's yours or someone else's. You know, and you know what the Scorpio is going to do? Oh, really? Okay. That's interesting. Didn't know that about you. Didn't know that about that person. Interesting. Mental note taken. 
So the Scorpio is going to act on that. The Scorpio is going to take mental notes of, of, of the secrets you tell them. And the Scorpio is going to keep all of those secrets within them. Scorpios are such the harbors of secrets. But they can also be gossipers. And they can use that to their manipulation. Scorpios, this is what a Scorpio will do. A Scorpio will get wind of some gossip about someone. And then a Scorpio says, hmm, okay. Mental note taken, I got that. All right, so how can I use this knowledge to manipulate to, to, to my advantage, to use it to manipulate it to my advantage? So the Scorpio, and I could be so crazy, but I know some Scorpios are going to relate to this. The Scorpio will be like, you know what? And say this is at work. So you, the Scorpio got, the Scorpio man or woman got some wind about, you know, Paul at work, you know, um, from Sarah. Um, so, you know, the Scorpio goes, okay, I got that information about Paul, but you know what? I've been wanting to know what the deal is with John. I think John is a tattletale. He's a Gemini, and I think he can't be trusted. I think... I think I'm going to go tell John. Because, you know, I, 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 we already, me and John already have this friendship. I already know how John thinks. I already know how John is. I think I'm going to go tell John. You know, kind of see what he knows about Paul. I and mean, then I'm going to kind of let the secret slip about Paul. And then... If, I, if word gets out about Paul secret, I know that John spilled it. And then I'll know that John is who I think he is. So that's what, like, the Scorpio is like... And I'm not saying all Scorpios are like that, but Scorpios can, like, use secrets and use situations to like manipulate like manipulate it to their benefit you know what i'm saying like scorpios know too much about too many people around them and they know too much about too many people around them not even necessarily from those people but it could be from a friend of a friend <laughs> or it could be from like a friend, you know what I'm saying? Like, it could be from a, uh, another co-worker, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Scorpios, you have to keep your eyes on Scorpios, you know? Like, you have to keep your eyes on Scorpios. Um, so I say all this to say, so Scorpio, you know, would plant the seed on, who did I say this guy was? The, Paul, I think I said this guy was John, right? John is the guy, the Gemini, who, like, we, the Scorpio would, you know, plant the seed in about Paul. So then if word gets out about Paul, you know, and his secret, then the Scorpio knows, okay, John is a tattletale. John's not to be trusted. I'm cutting John off. And I'm also cutting Sarah off, and I'm not trusting her. I'm not telling her any more secrets because she's the one who told me. both are cut off emotionally the Scorpio though can like still interact with with Sarah and John and get secrets from them but the Scorpio won't tell Sarah and John his or her secrets you see what I'm saying I know that's like really twisted like in like mind ga gamey but Scorpios play mind games like that you know, you have to watch them. They're super duper smart, super duper intense, and super and smart. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I, that's the, the, those are the reasons why Scorpio would cut you off emotionally is because you betrayed them. Um, you you know tried to get all up in their business. You you know tried to break that veil that they put up, that invisible ba barrier that they put up. You tried to cross that barrier. Um, you know, um, you know, you betray their trust, um, or, um, 
yeah, if a Scorpio, or if a Scorpio just, you know, saw you for your true colors, you know, whatever that means, you know. It could be that the Scorpio, you know, saw, and this might be a little bit harsh, but the Scorpio maybe not, may not have seen a benefit for you, may not have seen a use for you. Um, because I find Scorpios are like Capricorns in a way, because the model for Capricorn is I use, but I find Scorpios like to kind of use people as well. And that's a common thing with all the water signs. I feel, find that all the water signs are kind of manipulative in that way, and that they kind of like to use people for their benefit and, you know, kind of manipulate people to get their way. But Scorpios more so than anything, because they're just really good. They're ringmasters at it, you know? So you have to watch them. Um... You know, Scorpios, you know, um, you know, they deal with secrets, they deal with, you know, death, birth, and regeneration, so, you know, that's why Scorpio would uh, emotionally cut you off, um, it may not be worth it to try and get back in the Scorpio's good graces, you know, Scorpio, you know, once a Scorpio cuts you off, once a Scorpio blocks you, um, you know, um, any re reconciliation that would happen, um, that could potentially happen, would have to happen on that Scorpio's time frame. Um, uh, there's no sense in, in uh, reaching out to the Scorpio, because the Scorpio is just not going to be compliant. Um, once a Scorpio has made their mind up to cut you off, there's no turning back, um, uh, you know, not all Scorpios will, you know, cut you out, cut you off forever for good. Some Scorpios do come to their senses and realize, you know, that, um, you know, they made a mistake in cutting you off. Um, but some do cut you off for good, you know, and, and um, you know, they do thrive and continue on without you, you know. And it's hard to see. It's hard to... It's hard, Scorpios are hard to deal with. They're hard they're a hard sign to deal with, this I know, but um They can teach you a lot of lessons in life, those Scorpios. <laughs> Good and bad. Alright you guys, this is why Scorpio would cut you off emotionally. Um I'm sorry that this video wasn't more upbeat and, you know, um not, you know, kind of depressing, but, you know, with this type of thing, you know, it's, it usually is a depressing situation, you know, when a Scorpio cuts you off, it's usually not nice, it doesn't feel nice, it doesn't feel great to be on the receiving end, and like I said, sometimes it doesn't feel great to be on the giving end of that either, um, <clears throat> It really just depends on the situation. Sometimes Scorpios can, you know, you know, attract obsessive people, um, you know, and, and in that case, getting cut off, you know, is, is understood, you know. Don't be obsessive with Scorpios. Once again, that's going, trying to go past that un invisible barrier that the Scorpio has put up with you, you know what I'm saying, um, don't, don't do that, don't be obsessive, don't be desperate, you know, remember, you know, if a Scorpio, if a Scorpio cuts you off, the best thing you can do is to back off, you don't want to get stung, you don't want to get paralyzed, just back off, you know, that's kind of a Scorpio's way of saying, I'm done, you know what I'm saying, the next step is you're going to get stung, you know, and you don't want to get stung, okay, so if a Scorpio mostly cuts you off, just back off and give the Scorpio a little breathe, breathing room they may come back around all right um and just the best thing to do is to move on think about what you did um think about what you could have done differently and learn from that situation and do better moving forward now in scorpio's defense the realest people tend to not have the most friends because they see straight through the BS each and every time. Thank you for listening to this video. Thank you for watching. My name is Lamar Townsend. I'm an intuitive tarot psychic reader. I'm also an artist, so check out my channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I talk a lot about the zodiac signs, a lot about zodiacs and astrology. And, um, yeah, I do a lot of videos like this as well as readings. You know, my channel is a mix of a bunch of different things, and I think you would really enjoy it, Scorpio. It's 
Uh, definitely um, that edgy, dark, gritty kind of artistic flair to it. I am a Venus in Scorpio, after all. So, please check out my website, Lamar Townsend Tarot, where you can book your own personal reading. Uh, like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend Official. Follow me on Instagram, at Lamar Townsend. Follow me on Google+, follow me on SoundCloud, and check out my Bandcamp. Also, you can message me for your own personal reading at lamar.townsend at gmail.com. Your own personal confidential private reading. All my readings are confidential. I do video readings as of now. Um, I, my readings are not free. They're $1 per minute currently. That is my going rate. Um, so yeah, visit my website lamartownsendtarot.com for more information on that. Scorpio men and Scorpio women. And why they tend to not have a lot of friends. Well... Let's just get one thing straight here, okay, people? Because Scorpios and Capricorns, and I've done a video on this, so please watch my video. It's called "Why Capricorn Men and Capricorn Women and Scorpio Women Women and Scorpio Men Get Along So Well." Like why Capricorns and Scorpios just get along so well. It's because Capricorns and Scorpio have so much in common. I'm a Capricorn Sun. Uh, Libra Moon. Virgo Rising. Um, Venus and Scorpio. Pluto and Scorpio. I think I have Pluto conjunct Scorpio. So I have like heavy Scorpio in my chart. Um, I don't have very many friends. I don't have very many friends that I feel I could call up at any time at 4 a.m. and it wouldn't be weird or it wouldn't be, you know what I'm saying? They wouldn't be like, why are you calling me right now? Do you need something? Because if you don't need something, then I'm hanging up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Scorpio, like, if you're a friend to a Scorpio, you, you, you're like family to a Scorpio, you know what I'm saying? Scorpios don't have a lot of friends. Scorpio men and women don't have a lot of friends, so if you are friends with the Scorpio, if you are close friends with the Scorpio, consider yourself lucky. Honestly, like truly, consider yourself lucky to be a part of that Scorpio's life. To be so closely a part of that Scorpio's life. Like seriously, you know, um, Scorpios don't have a lot of friends, you know. Scorpios don't, don't trust people very easily. And that's one reason why they don't have a lot of friends. It's because they don't trust people very easily. They understand that people are crazy. People, you know, because Scorpio's, Scorpio is ruled by Mars, you know, so I believe Scorpio is ruled by Mars. Let me double check that because if I just go this entire video without like <laughs> double checking that, Scorpio ruled by Mars. Oh, it's ruled by Mars and Pluto. Okay, I'm glad I did that. Mars is the planet of outward activity and animal passion. Animal passion, Scorpio. Wow. If that doesn't describe you to a T, Scorpios are a very sexual sign, especially if your Venus is in Scorpio. Scorpios are a very sexual sign. Let me stop here on my animal passion moment, okay? Scorpios are a very sexual sign, and that's one side of themselves. That they're be okay, so sexuality and, and, and sex and, and darkness that is pretty much intertwined into a Scorpio man or woman Sun moon or rising you know what I'm saying or, or Venus you know it like even maybe even Mercury or Mars you know what I'm saying um, or Pluto like you know it's intertwined in a Scorpio to have that sexual energy so they're not going to, because they just radiate it automatically, and that's why you find so many pe people attracted to you, Scorpio, man or woman, because you just radiate sexuality, you radiate sens like sensuality, you, you radiate s just sex, and you don't even know it, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, it attracts so many people, you, like you may be at the grocery store and you may just catch people like eyeing you down, and it's just like, who is this woman in... And why is she eyeing me down? Who is this man? And why is he staring at me? Like, and looking me up and down like that? Like, you know? It might be a little bit uncomfortable for you sometimes. Like, so you don't always feel comfortable expressing, like, I'm, like, clutching it like I have cleavage or something. Like, you know, but, it, you know, it's just, like, sometimes it's, like, okay, like, thank you. I know I'm pretty, but I know I'm cute. Like, I know I'm sexy, but today I just don't want to be noticed for that. I just want to be Scorpio, 
you know, known for, you know, my honesty, my heart, you know, my, my, something other than my body or my sexuality. I get it, Scorpio. So you're not always one to quickly op show that side of yourselves to people. Because, you know, sometimes that can be taken advantage of because people know that you're such a sexual being. Like, whether you're, you're sexual, whether you're sexually active or not, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because deep down you know what i'm saying that it's who you are you know you're not always reluctant to sh you're you <laughs> you're not always open to sharing that with people that side of yourself with people <clears throat> and that goes back to you just not trusting people you know um scorpios don't trust people Scor a lot of people trust scorpios a lot of people will come to Scorpios and spill their secrets and talk about what their man's doing behind their back and how they found out from, you know, so-and-so or, you know, what what their boyfriend is, what their girlfriend's doing behind their back, what their family member's doing. Like, it's just crazy the stories that people come to the Scorpios with and tell them. Like, and it's just, it's amazing, you know, and it's just like, it's interesting, you guys, because... People come to you, you know, and tell you these stories, these 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 exposés about themselves or about other people that you wouldn't expect, you know, from that person. And then it makes you look at that person differently. Whether that person was revealing something about themselves, it's like interesting. I didn't I had no idea that that's what that person was going through you know that this person never talks about it you know he goes he or she goes throughout the day with a smile on his or her face you know what i'm saying and it's just like who does that like who keeps that hidden within themselves you know what i'm saying like who keeps such a big secret like that hidden within themselves and can just and it's just like scorpio like has to analyze you you know what i'm saying before it's like okay I'm glad this person showed me who they are. Let me step back and analyze if I want to go further, take this relationship further. Or it could be that you revealed something about someone else to the Scorpio, like a secret about someone else to the Scorpio. It's still going to make the Scorpio look at you differently. It's like, okay, this person revealed that person's secret. You know, well, what's this person's relation to that person? Like, you know, is that really shady? Like, is this that person's sibling or like cousin or like best friend because if they're telling you know their best friends or their sibling's secret like that's kind of shady that you this person doesn't seem trustworthy you know what i'm saying not taking that relationship further like that's how a scorpio is like so they're they're very like they're always weighing whether or not they can trust you you know um and you'll know when a Scorpio trusts you when they say, I trust you. <laughs> you know, and like, until you hear a Scorpio say that, just assume that they don't trust you, you know? You know? They don't trust a lot of people, and that's why they tend to not have a lot of friends. Another thing is that, in order to be a Scorpio's friend, you have to be real. You have to be real. You have to be transparent um, with yourself and with other people and dealing with other people. Okay, if you're not transparent with yourself, if you're kind of, um, fake in a way, like if you, like if you exhibit behaviors <laughs> that don't go with the Scorpio's belief system, if you exhibit behaviors that go against your own belief system, Scorpios are just not going to take you seriously, um, because Scorpios, Scorpios are watchers, Scorpios observe people, they watch you, they watch you and they analyze and they take notes about you, about how you react to certain situations, what you post on social media, what you don't post on social media, what you share with other people, but what you don't share with the Scorpio, what you share with the Scorpio, but you don't share with other people. The difference between your behavior when you're one-on-one -on -one with the Scorpio and when you're out in public with other people.
and the Scorpio is also there watching you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Scorpio is like people who are consistent as well. If you're not consistent, it's just not going to work. You know what I'm saying? Scorpios, Scorpios don't like people who aren't, who aren't consistent. Scorpios don't like people who aren't real, who aren't trans transparent. You know what I'm saying? Um, because Scorpios see through... Scorpios see through everything. Scorpios might as well have, like, see-through vision. Like, they may... They... God might as well have given Scorpios the ability to just see through things. Like, literally. Because they see through everything. They see through... The, the bullshit you're feeding them. They see through the fakeness. They see through, you know what I'm saying? Outwardly, you maybe exhibit signs of, oh, I'm so happy, but inside they know, mm, yeah, she seems like she's happy. She looks like she's happy, but something's telling me inside, I have a feeling, this is a Scorpio man or woman, I have a feeling that she's lying. Like, Scorpios see through, they have built-in lie detectors. They just know. They just know. So you can't hide anything from a Scorpio. So if you're always trying to hide things from the Scorpio, if you're always trying to duck and dodge the Scorpio, if you're always just being, like, really shady and sketchy, like, Scorpios are going to, they're not going to want to deal with you. They're not going to, they want real people, consistent, reliable, transparent. Transparent, 100% transparent. Be real, 100% real with the Scorpio. There aren't a lot of people like that in the world. There just aren't. You know? And then it's weird because, okay, so, like, you could have a... Like, I'm a Capricorn sun. Which is, like, much like Scorpio where we're, like, loner, we're loners, kind of. We don't, we don't trust people easily. We don't feed into people's bullshit. We don't have time for people's bullshit. Um... But then I have, like, a Libra moon, which makes me really charming and charismatic and makes me want to get along with everybody, and I want everyone to have fun, and let's have fun, everybody. Oh, isn't this so fun and beautiful? Like, you know what I'm saying? So then there's that side of me, but then there's another side of me where it's like, I'm closing the doors, don't talk to me. You know, I'm blocking out the windows. You know, I don't want anyone to bother me. You know, like, it's really, it's a weird dichotomy. And it's like, that's kind of how Scorpio can be. It's like, you know, they, they pull you in, and then they push you away for a little while. Until they're ready to pull you in. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I talk a lot about Scorpios and the Scorpio personality. I've done a lot of videos on that, so check out those videos as well. I'll link those videos at the end of this video, actually. Um my series on Scorpio, my playlist on Scorpio. The Scorpio Experience is what it's called. Um, Scorpios just don't have a lot of friends because they're just real. They're real people with with real um, with real senses, with a real sense of they're real people with real with a real sense of or with real senses of the senses sounds weird. With their people with a sense of purpose. Their people with a sense of compassion and love for for those that they love, the people that they cherish. Um, they're they're they are gung ho. They are activists for you know seeing through the bullshit, looking through the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Not taking anything at face value, on at surface value. Always understanding that there's always something beneath the surface. There's always something bubbling underneath the surface. There's always some truth underneath the surface. You know. Scorpios don't want to have to deal with a lot of work of having to do all that, having to see through your bullshit, having to always wonder, you know, is this person lying? Having to always tap into that Scorpio energy of that 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 lie detector energy, that that kind of third eye energy, you know, that that's like that takes work. It's like Scorpios are super intuitive and psychic, but it's like it's 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 work for them. Like tapping into that energy, it's like tiring almost. So like to have to always be in your presence. And always be tapped into that energy just to see, you know, like, just to test you and see, is this person 
you know, lying, can I trust this person, like, just putting you through tests, you know, and just having their third eye open, you know, it's like, it, that's exhausting for a Scorpio, the Scorpio would much rather be with a person who they don't have to have their third eye open, they don't, there's no worry, like, you know what I'm saying, all they, their bullshit detector is, is enough, you know what I'm saying, they can call that person out in a minute, you're lying, you know what I'm saying, get out of here, you know, and move on, you know what I'm saying, if them and that person can work that out, you know, and move on, you know, now, it's not this whole thing where it's like just this whole, you know, it's like this whole polarity energy thing, you know, it's like where, it's like you, the Scorpio tests you, and it's just weird, you know, the Scorpio doesn't like dealing with that, the Scorpio doesn't like dealing with people he, he or she has to play mind games with, and he has to put test, you know, he or she has to put, you know, through test, just to see if they're loyal, if they're true to, to what they say, to, to how they act. Because Scorpio under, also understands people can act, you know, put on an act. and You know what I'm saying? So you have to really watch people, you know? Scorpios know that. Scorpios know you really have to watch people, you know? Scorpio would much rather have a relationship where they don't have to, have to watch you. Because they trust you. You know, and Scorpios just don't trust people very easily. It, they just don't. You know, it's in their nature to not trust people easily. It's in their nature to test you to you know bring out their scorpion sting. You know, stinger. You know, show you their scorpion stinger. You know, on on per upon first meeting. You know, and it may, it, it may not happen at first, but it, it may. You know. Somewhere in the conversation, somewhere, you know, in, in that first beginning stages of meeting, the Scorpio will show his or her stinger, just to see how you react, just to see if you'll skimper away, just to see if you'll be like, whoa, Scorpio, calm down, put that stinger away, you know what I'm saying, or just to see if you'll, like, be aggressive back, like, what, what are you, like, what are you doing, you know what I'm saying, really, you know? Oh, you want to pull out your stinger? Watch what I have for you, you know? I mean, it's like, uh, it's it shows your true colors, you know what I'm saying? Scorpio doesn't want anyone who who's violent. Scorpio doesn't want anyone who's going to be aggressive back, you know? Scorpio wants the person who's going to be like, whoa, chill out, bro, chill out, girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's not, not none of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, someone who's just going to be real and upfront with the Scorpio and once again transparent. There just aren't that many people like that in the world. There aren't, you know. And that one time you mess up, that one time you f up, it, that's like all the that's all you, the Scorpio needs to just cut you off, you know. That one time you show your true colors. That one time you show you're disloyal. You're inconsistent. You're unreliable. You you betrayed the Scorpio. You're untrustworthy. Excuse me. The moment you show any signs of, of those, you know, things, the Scorpio will cut you off, you know. Because the Scorpio doesn't need that in his, his or her life, you know. They just don't. Speaking of which, check out my video on why Scorpio, man or woman, would emotionally cut you off. Because they do do that, you know. That's one reason why they don't tend to have a lot of friends either, is because they just cut people off, you know? Usually after putting you through a few tests, though, through, through a few tests, you know, just to see, is this person wor worthy of keeping on? Should I keep this person on the ship, or should I just throw them off, you know, the dock? Should I throw them off the deck? You know, you'll let them find some other ship to, to grab on hold to, you know what I'm saying? That's a Scorpio. So Scorpios, you know, they just don't like dealing with with bullshit. They don't like dealing with other people's mess. They don't, you know, they don't like dealing with fake people. They don't like fake energy. They don't like fake fakeness. You know, Scorpios don't do well with fakeness. They don't like um, inconsistent people. Not, you know, people who aren't transparent, upfront, you know, and honest. <clears throat> they don't like people who aren't trustworthy who are unreliable or, you know, inconsistent, you know, and, um, they also don't like people who don't pass the test that they put the Scorpio man or woman puts them through, because not passing the Scorpio's tests, 
test or tests proves or shows that you're kind of weak in the Scorpio's eyes. And Scorpios don't like weakness, so, you know, you have to be strong when you're dealing with the Scorpio, you guys. You just have to. They're strong people. Scorpios are strong men and women. You're strong people, Scorpio. Rock on, okay? One way to piss off a Scorpio? Ask them to tell you their deepest, darkest secret. Just do it. Chances are the Scorpio man or woman will freak out for a second because they'll think about their deepest, darkest secret. Like, uh, they'll go to that place in themselves that'll cause them to freak out because Scorpios hate dealing with that part of themselves, their deepest, darkest secrets, their fears, you know, their, their, you know, that side of themselves. They don't like dealing with that side of themselves. They don't mind dealing with that side of other people, but that side of themselves, it's really vulnerable. It's like a really touchy, touch and go. So the Scorpio man and woman will freak out, like, uh, and then they'll be like, they'll question you, and then they'll be like really suspicious to be like, why do you want to know? Like, you know, like, why, you know, why do you want to know? Like, what makes you want to know that information? Like, what makes you think you have the right to know that? Like, you know, then they'll be really suspicious of you, and then you, like, you'll piss them off now, because you've taken them to that place, and then they become really suspicious of you, and your intentions, and your intentions are clear, and just, like, fuck with their head a little bit, you know? That's how you, the, like, one way to, you know, piss a Scorpio off. By the way, I'm Lamar Townsend. I'm a Venus in Scorpio, um, and Pluto conjunct Scorpio. <clears throat> I believe Pluto conjunct Scorpio, but definitely Venus in Scorpio. Please check out my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please follow me on Instagram at Lamar Townsend. Please contact me for your own personal reading at Lamar dot townsend at gmail dot com lamar period don't spell out the word just put a period or a dot townsend at gmail dot com lamar dot townsend at gmail dot com you can also purchase your own personal reading or not purchase but contact me for your own personal reading at lamar townsend tarot dot com um also follow me on google plus follow me on my soundcloud and check out my bandcamp page so one way to piss off a Scorpio, ask them their deepest dark ask them to tell you their deepest darkest secret out of nowhere. You may not even have to know the Scorpio that well. You may not even like you could be close friends with the Scorpio, you know, and it will still freak them out and piss them off. You know, because they just don't like going there, you know, especially all of a sudden, like they have to be in the mood, like it has to be the, the, the mood, the, the, the ambiance has to be right for the Scorpio to really pour that so that side of themselves out to you to really um, show that side of themselves to anyone, really. <clears throat> so ask them to tell you their deepest, darkest secret. Number two. Um, way to piss a Scorpio off. And this kind of ties in with um, the first one, asking them to tell you their deepest, darkest secret. Number two would be um, overstepping a boundary with the Scorpio. Overstepping one of the Scorpio's boundaries. I talk, talk about this in um, my video on, it's called how or why that Scorpio man or Scorpio woman emotionally cut you off. And one of the reasons um, Scorpio men and women emotionally cut people off is because people overstep that invisible boundary that they put up, that invisible wall that they put up, that invisible um, barrier that they put up with people that, you know, um, certain people just cannot cross. Um, you have to be really close with the Scorpio, meaning like you have to be like a cousin, you have to be like a friend who's known them since they were like really, really young or like, you know, like, a, you know, like at least in their youth, you know, you have to be, you know, a brother or a sister or someone that the Scorpio grew up with from a time when they were a kid to an adult. Someone who's seen that Scorpio grow through different phases of their lives, you know what I'm saying, who's stuck with them through different phases in their lives. Um, that, with, with those types of people, the, the veil that the Scorpio holds with these people is going to be very, very thin. 
very thin veil and these people meaning the cousins friends you know family that the that the scorpio has a thin veil with these people can f kind of go in and out of the veil they, these people can kind of you know flow in and out of the veil as they please you know and the scorpio doesn't really bat an eyelash it's like oh you know these people are very close to me this is family i you know i love and trust these people i know these people won't take my secrets you know and, and do ill will with them or you know what i'm saying or or have any ill intentions with them in the future it's all love when it comes to family or people you trust sometimes though scorpios can't even trust family though like scorpios can't even you know blood isn't always thicker than water you know what i'm saying and scorpio knows that better than anyone sometimes so um the people that the um <clears throat> Scorpio holds thin, the people that the Scorpio, the Scorpio holds thin veils with could be um, a very short list of people. However, the other people, the Scorpio will typically have a thick veil, a thick barrier that you cannot cross, you cannot overstep, okay? Um, sometimes the, the, the barrier may be, be lowered. And lowered and lowered until you can actually see the Scorpio's face above the ba above the barrier, and then it's like, oh hi Scorpio, you know. And then the barrier may be lowered and lowered and lowered more, you know what I'm saying? Um, but as always, the veil could be shot back up at any moment, and you know what I'm saying. You have to either lower it again, work to get it lowered, or it just won't be lowered ever again. And then you'll have to work to getting it thinner. And that, getting it thinner takes time. Okay? Getting it lowered is like... It's like increments of like... The Scorpio revealing him or herself to you, but the the wall thinning is like you being able to see directly through the Scorpio in a way, in in like a way. You know what I'm saying? So you have to really work to get past that wall. You know what I'm saying? And and so if you you try and once again overstep that wall, if you try and look peek past that wall or look over the wall, like you know what I'm saying and look through the Scorpio, you know, try and drill a hole in the wall or of some, of some sort, you know what I'm saying? When you're not prompted to do so, when you're not, you know, when the Scorpio has not given you any real indication that he or she is okay with that, um, you're going to piss that Scorpio off, you know, you're going to overstep that boundary and you're going to piss that Scorpio off and that's not going to be good. The piss Scorpio is not good. Chances are... The Scorpio may sting you, sting you if you overstep your boundary too much the first time. Okay, but that's gonna be your, your 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 first warning and your in your first lesson on dealing with that Scorpio. All right. <clears throat> number three. Um, number three. Why would a Scorpio? How would? To piss a Scorpio off. I mean, there are so many ways, but I just really want to make sure I get to the really good ones before I get to the most obvious ones. Um, to piss a Scorpio off. One way to piss a Scorpio off is if, <laughs> and I've had this happen my my own darn self, um, is if a Scorpio cuts you off for something that you did or a Scorpio reprimands you for something that you did that pissed the Scorpio off or that upset the Scorpio just rubbed the Scorpio the wrong way and the Scorpio confronted you about the situation you know and the Scorpio invites you back into the into their life invites you back into their trust but then you go and do the same thing a damn again that is gonna piss the Scorpio off the Scorpio, you know, says, hey, I don't like when you do this thing, please don't do it again. But then you go and do that same thing again. That's going to piss, that would piss anyone off. But specifically a Scorpio, because a Scorpio, for them to take the time to instruct you on how they should be treated, when most of the time they would not even bother to 
tell anyone where they live. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or where they bank or like, you know, like any type of important or like solitary information about themselves. That means a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like that is that's a pretty big deal, you know? So Know what's a big deal to a Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Know what... Know the Scorpio language. You know what I'm saying? You have to know the Scorpio language. You have to know the Scorpio language. So don't... Don't, you know, do something. Get reprimanded for it. You know, get told, hey, I don't like when you do that. And then go do the same thing over and over again. Because eventually you're just going to get cut off forever from the Scorpio. The Scorpio is going to get eventually fed up. You know. And they're going to cut you off. You're going to be cut off for good. Sayonara. Hasta luego. Like. What is hasta luego? I hope... Let me actually go Google what that means. Hasta luego. I took up to level four in Spanish. Oh, I said okay. It means bye. I took up to level four in Spanish when I was in high school. So where I grew up, there were there are a lot of Latinos where I, where I live in Spanish and Puerto Ricans. I have to admit, I have kind of have a thing for Puerto Ricans and Latino and Spanish men. I can't, I can't help it. Anyways, I'm getting off track. Oh Lord, Dios mío. All right. Um. So don't do something that the Scorpio does not like. The Scorpio tells you, I don't like that, and then go do it again. All right. That kind of goes into number four. I think I'm on number four, which is um, don't go and betray the Scorpio's trust. Don't do something behind the Scorpio's back um, without first asking or addressing the Scorpio about that, whatever it is. Um, don't be in cohorts with Scorpio's, uh, Scorpio man or woman's known enemies. Don't be in cohorts with Scorpio's friends that they introduce you to behind his or her back. Don't be in cohorts with Scorpio's man or woman. Don't be in cohorts with... Don't be all up in the Scorpio's business. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't... Don't be all up in the Scorpio's business and then go tell other people the Scorpio's business. Don't don't betray the Scorpio's trust like that. Don't steal from the Scorpio. Don't take the Scorpio for granted and then get mad when the Scorpio doesn't want to do something or can't do something for you. You know? Don't betray the Scorpio. Don't do it. You're just going to piss them off. <laughs> But seriously, don't piss, don't betray the Scorpio. Don't don't betray the Scorpio's trust. Um, Scorpios are big on lo loyalty. They're a very very loyal sign. <clears throat> so when you show any sign of disloyalty, the Scorpio will definitely look at you differently. And I mean any sign of disloyalty. If the Scorpio calls you, but you don't call back that day. But you call back the next day. Disloyalty. Really, you could have called back at some point that that same day. You know? If you say you're going to be somewhere and then you don't show up. Disloyalty. You know? If you say you're going to do something and then you don't do it, just loyalty. Like, the Scorpio cannot take you seriously. Like, you're betraying the Scorpio's trust. The Scorpio is trusting you to do something. The Scorpio is trusting you to show up for him or her, and you're betraying his or her trust. Scorpios are big on trust, so don't betray their trust. 
Number five. You show off. You show off too much. You need to be the center of attention all the time. You always have to be up in the Scorpio man or woman's face showing off. You know, whatever it is, you know, your your new ring that you got, you know, your your new bins that you got, your new car, you know, your new whatever, you know, bragging about your life, how great your life is, but Scorpio, see through the bullshit, see through the facade, know that deep down you're just insecure, know that deep down, you know, your husband or your wife is cheating on you with his or her friend, and they know this because the friend has a cousin that the Scorpio is close with. So, uh, they don't even know why you're all up in their face, you know, bragging about, you know, your ring or whatever. You know, being a show-off when they know the real deal. They know the real tea, you know. So, Scorpio see through the bullshit, you know. They, they cannot stand people who show off. Chances are, if you're a show-off, Scorpio see right through you. Scorpio, a Scorpio will see right through a show-off straight through straight through a show off and see you for who you really are sure will um so if you're a show off you're just gonna piss the Scorpio off um they don't like show offs Scorpios are all about subtle subtleness subtlety so they like subtle things subtle people subtle gestures so Number six, number six. <laughs> Scorpio, you take them for granted. Number six, you take them for granted. You think that just because they do something for you out of the kindness of their heart. And I think people take the kindness of their heart for granted because Scorpios can come off sometimes as cold-hearted or mean. Um, but that's not the case. So then when, then when they do sweet things, when they do, you know, subtle gestures, it's like, because it's so subtle and it's not so, like, over in your face, show off -y, like, you know what I'm saying? Um not really emotional or affectionate. It's like, oh, Scorpio, you're so cute. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Whereas it's like, it's not, it's not like, you know, oh, Scorpio, I really appreciate, you know, this gesture that you're doing for me. You know, it's, it's so nice, you know, of you to, to show your love and how much you value me in this way, in this subtle way. You know, I, I love it. You know, I really appreciate it. You know, see the difference? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, taking them for granted. Like, expecting them to do, um, a certain thing for you. Expecting them to always be there for you, you know, when maybe you're not always there for them. You know, maybe you're not, um, always the kindest or nicest to them, you know. And that takes me to number seven. I think, or is it number six? Um, crap, I don't know. Anyways, you don't appreciate them. You don't appreciate the Scorpio. Um, you take them for granted and you don't appreciate them. You don't appreciate the things they do for you. You don't appreciate the subtle things that they do for you. You don't appreciate that they think ahead. You don't appreciate that they remember the the things that you tell them you know they you don't appreciate that they remember that the drink that you your favorite drink that you like to order at the bar so they order it for you they think ahead and order it for you and bring it to you you know and it's such a subtle gesture it's such a you know oh here here you go i got you your, your favorite drink oh thanks scorpio you know you take the drink you sip it and you look around you know you don't really take that moment to really be appreciative of the Scorpio and, and not take that gesture for granted, you know? <clears throat> so, number eight. 
So taking them for granted and not being appreciative is going to piss, piss them off. And chances are they're going to cut you off. And when that happens, I want you to watch my video on why that Scorpio man or woman emotionally cut you off. And I'll be explaining these same exact things to you. I promise you. So take your Scorpio, you know, um, don't take your Scorpio for granted. Um, show them love and appreciation. Show them that you love them and that you care. Um, um, and I think I'll end this. So I don't know if this would be six, seven, or eight. It doesn't matter. Um, being fake with a Scorpio is going to piss the Scorpio off because they see through fake. They see through the bullshit each and every time. So when you come with fakeness, they see through the facade. They see straight through the fake. And then that's when they're going to play the mind game on you. That's when they're going to smile in your face and look you dead in your eyes. And act like they have no idea what's going on. But they have every idea, every knowing of what's going on. And unbeknownst to you, they also have their hand, hand behind your head pulling the strings and being a pup, puppet master and controlling your emotions as they stare you in your eyes and have a conversation with you, just like I'm having a conversation with you right now. And that, my friends, is how you piss a Scorpio man or woman off. Thank you guys for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share with your friends and family. Please share with your Scorpio friends and family. Scorpio moon, friends and family, rising, um, ascendant, uh, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Uh, please check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Please check me out on uh, Bandcamp, SoundCloud. Google Plus, Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend official, Instagram at Lamar Townsend, contact me at Lamar, uh, Lamar.townsend at gmail.com for your own personal confidential reading. Any information shared during the reading stays strictly between us. I do video readings. My readings are not free. I charge $1 per minute. Um, you are free to ask any question you would like as long as it's not criminy related or things of that nature. Um... As I said, any information that is shared or that comes up during the reading stays strictly between you and I. The link of, to the video is shared strictly between you and I. You have free will, free will to do with the video as you please. I just advise, always advise you to save the video to your computer so that you can pull it up at a later date. Um, but, uh, you know, all readings are strictly confidential and private, okay? So, reach out and get your own personal reading, okay? It's really fun. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time. And that's how to piss a Scorpio off. Don't do it, alright? Just don't do it, alright? You don't want to get stung by a Scorpio, alright? It's going to hurt, I promise you, alright? It's going to hurt. Alright, see you later.
Pulling up in the driveway, I swear wouldn't do this He got me rocked like I raised, I swear wouldn't do this This dude is too lit, he cheating on me, I split Because this relationship is counterfeit There you go again, popping in my head again No, I can do this There you go again, popping in my head again No, I can do this There you go again, popping in my head again No, I can do this There you go again, popping in my head again No, I can do this Go ahead, live your fantasy, I know you want me, it's not hard to see Go ahead, live your fantasy, I know you want me, it's not hard to see Pulling up in the driveway, I swear wouldn't do this He got me rocked like I raised, I swear wouldn't do this This dude is too lit, he cheating on me, I split Because this relationship is counterfeit There you go again, popping in my head again No, I can do this uh, 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 uh. There you go again, popping in my head again No, I can do this There you go again, popping in my head again. No, I can't do this. No, I can't do it anymore, dog. It's done. There you go again, popping in my head again. Yeah. No, I can't do this. Go ahead, live your fantasy. I know you want me. It's not hard to see. Go ahead, live your fantasy. I know you want me. It's not hard to see.